So I'm not supposed to be showing this off right now, but check this out. It's a 2019 Chevy 4500. First one out of the factory. It's supposed to have a cover over it right now. I'm transporting it back to Roku Customs. We got the hookup to get the first one out of the Chevy factory. And it's not even a Chevy. I'll, I'll get you guys on the details later. But anyways, what I'm doing is I'm at the equipment. Okay, I'll, long story about this, Kenworth. But I'm at the equipment dealership right now. And my buddy Greg works here. Now, this is the place where we picked it up. But he's always like, whenever he gets a razor, he's always like, oh, come check out my new razor and stuff. He's like, you want to ride in it? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, you can't have a ride in it. And he's like, oh, too bad you didn't have a razor. And it just, it makes me angry. But he's a big Chevy fan. So I showed him this Chevy 4500, the first one out of the factory. Just rubbed it all in his face. The Chevy Duramax 4500 2019. We're taking it back to Roller Customs now. Dude, it's, it's literally number one out of the factory. Like I said, long story. Long story there. But, okay, the Kenworth. Now, what we're doing is we're taking this. Okay, we're taking the Chevy back to Roller Coaster Customs. I'm going to make it like. The best polar possible, I guess. The best like hauling slash work truck trailer. Right now it's bone stock. Actually, it's kind of looking nice. It's it's got some chrome on it, but we're gonna really make this thing look nice back at Roll Customs. Now the Kenworth, you guys see the Kenworth and you're like, dude, why do you have a single axle on their squad? I'm I'm leaving this video, man. I'm leaving this video. This is just stupid. I know, trust me, I'll I'll I, I thought it was kind of cool having this, but I'm gonna switch this out right now. We're gonna put two rear axles on this hold on for a sec we got i got some i got a lot of explaining to do in this video actually but check this truck out so this came from expendables both of those trucks actually so this kenworth came from expendables the chevy came from expendables anthony made this truck this this kenworth and then i think david made the chevy 4500 gotta give a big props to those guys over expendables making some sweet mods okay so i just wanted to show you guys the one with with w one axle on the back it's kind of cool actually and i think it'll be good for Ronco customs because it's going to be like another Ronco customs truck that we just use to haul trucks deliver things deliver campers because this will be perfect for campers but for what we're doing i think we do need two axles on the back i don't know it's it's kind of cool i'm i'm, I'm kind of digging it to be honest but i'm going to customize this we're going to really see what it's made of it's like I don't know, like one okay, once we get a once we get two axles, it'll probably be looking better. Here, I'm gonna go dude, I'm pretty sure that's that's uh American trucking simulator. That that like thumbnail that's taken out of it. I'm gonna go customize. And okay, so you got day cab single axle. Now this looks I love the paint jobs here. It's fantastic. Uh day cab double axle. It, okay. Day cab single axle look perfect with the fender flares, but now we go double axle dual axle double double axle must be the term not dual axle but when you ah it just i don't know maybe I, what i gotta take off is the fender i like the painted fender though i don't know it might look like when you went single cab with the painted fender it looked perfect but when you go dual when you go day cab double axle it just doesn't look that good or we could go triple axle i feel like we don't need the triple axle we're not gonna be on that heavy or we could go sleeper. I don't know. We don't need a sleeper though. It's Roll Quick Customs. We don't we don't go too crazy far. I think I'm gonna go day cap double. Exhaust. Oh dude. Exhaust three. Oh my gosh. Exhaust four. We don't need that crazy, do we? I I'm kinda digging exhaust five. Let's go exhaust five. I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I think I'm going to go exhaust five. I don't know about these fender flares though. Man, this honestly, I like that little, that little, uh, single, the little single axle. I'm liking that truck. It's just so short. You can get around tight places. Maybe we should go the single axle. That, dude, I kind of want to go the single axle just because if, you know, if we're not really hauling that heavy, probably fine to have, but I feel like a lot of people are just going to like dislike this video because I have the single axle. I feel like people are going to be so angry right now. You can even add a rack to it on the back. No, we're, we're definitely not going to rack, but okay. I'm going to go, we'll go. Maybe I shouldn't get those fenders, huh? Whatever. We'll do the fenders. There we go. So we'll go double axle, customize it. I want to keep it blue. Just, I feel like Kenworth, you got to go blue. Ooh, mm, mm. man, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good. I'm not dig. I'm not digging that at all, but here's a triple axle. It looks, I mean, it looks fairly good, but there we go. We got dual and just, you can't have fender flares on it. I don't know what it is. With dual, they're just like, they're too bright. 
I feel like you can't have fender flares. The sleeper on this did look really sweet also. I was thinking about going sleeper, but right now we'll just uh, we'll just go duel for now. I'm gonna, uh, maybe I shouldn't be backing down the roadway. I, dude, I love that little Kenworth. That little Kenworth, that, that single axle, I love that. It actually looked really good. Now, some of you guys might be like, you just might not be used to it, but I don't know, for some reason, it me in the sweet spot. It just, it looked good. We're gonna connect to this now. The end, uh, okay, so I'm gonna pull this back to Royal Customs, and then we're gonna go pick up, we're gonna go eventually pick up another truck. Now, right now, I haven't, it's been a while since I've driven a semi, and we just got, oh, oh, what's nice is you can see back here, too. It's cool. Yeah, I gotta make sure that Chevy doesn't go flying off, too, especially since this is the first truck. There we go. But what's really cool about this is this truck feels extremely realistic when you're driving it. This Kenworth is definitely my new favorite semi though. Gotta say. It's just, it looks good. And actually the Kenworth with the with the single uh, single axle is probably my favorite. I guess this, this exact one isn't my favorite. The single axle. You guys are probably like, oh, that looks so stupid. But I don't know. I kind of like it. And so right now I was going to put... I was going to put two Chevy trucks on the back of this because we got we got number one and we got number two. But I couldn't get them to fit properly and they kind of go flying off. I was trying to get them on the back of this. So right now we're only hauling one at a time. I know this is probably this is probably overkill to be honest. But this is what we're going to be hauling now. And then I'll get these back. And I went through these Chevy trucks into like crazy good pullers. I'm going to put new beefier tires. I'm going to put a flatbed on these. We can sell them as farm trucks, but I want to sell them as like, I don't know, the ultimate off-road slash polar truck dude i need to swing wider oh my gosh we keep uh i don't realize see i'm used to pulling just goosenecks and goosenecks they they follow they trail fa fairly well this i need to swing a lot wider here but made it back to roller customs i am gonna take this truck and i don't know if we'll put it in i don't know if we'll put it in this or if we'll put it in here i might customize it out of this shop right here or i could customize it just right up front i might put it on the lift in here if we can if we can get it in there but first things first i'm gonna get unloading this <laughs> dude the, oh tell me I, I i seriously want your guys' opinion on the kenworth that like like i i cherish your guys' opinion on that because i'm i'm back and forth on it on whether i think this the single axle looks the best i know it's a really stupid debate you're like oh who cares over axles but i think the single axle looks the best on this truck with blue fender flares okay oh shoot that's right i was okay what i was trying to do is not put any miles on this truck but we kind of have to get in there i could like drag it in there ah it's fine it's the customs now this truck will sell insanely quick also speaking of selling a lot of people oh we're gonna have artist uh i guess i, I probably shouldn't say his name but we're gonna have somebody come on here we got a couple customers coming on here and uh they're gonna be they're going to be buying some trucks from us really soon here. It was actually supposed to be this video, but we got kind of behind on some things. I got I got caught up. Some schoolwork came up really quick, and we, we weren't able to do it. So it'll probably be it'll probably be one of the next Rollco Customs videos where we finally have customers on after, like, you know, 30 videos. We're actually going to have our first sale. It's going to be insane. Maybe Mr. Butlicker will be back, too. Who knows? <laughs> this is I know right now this looks really ugly too it's got stock tires once we put beefier tires on this oh this thing will be looking so nice toss a flatbed on here one thing I, I messed up on <clears throat> and you can do this with trucks is if if you if you're in reverse and then you shut the truck off in reverse the reverse light will still stay on and so I don't want that to happen so what I do oh, oh I guess it went off there but there we go Perfect. I'm going to shut this. I guess people can kind of see it. If they, if they come to Royal Customs, they can look in and see that we got the first one off the assembly line. But I'm going to go back and get the second one. And I'll show you what I mean by Chevy does it right. These guys are geniuses. I don't know if I'm supposed to share the secret or not. But once we head to the... I'm going to get... Actually, I'm going to get loaded up quick. And then also, the creator of Chop Shop Mods, Kyle over there, had asked me to shout out his channel. And since he did a crazy amount of work for us, I'm going to shout out his channel. I'll put his link down below. But what he's, his, message, his message, I guess he wants to tell, wants me to tell you guys, is that he's going to do a lot of mod testing and a lot of like, and, and show off a lot of mods before I even get them or before they even come out over on his YouTube channel. And he's kind of messing around with some mods. He'll show the processes of them being built 
over on his channel. He's trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. I think he's close to 500. If you guys want to go check out his channel, basically, basically you can see all, all the things I'm about, all the crazy mods I'm about, I'm about to get because he, he always tests them and works on them on his channel. So you can see all the crazy builds he's working on. I know he's working on like a Lambo with tracks over on his channel. So if you want to go check that out, link is down below. Really consider subscribing to him, guys. Seems like he's going to come out with some crazy stuff. So feel free to subscribe. Feel free to go check out his channel. I'll be, I'll be shouting him out more as the week goes on here, too. So we're hitting the road again with this Kenworth. Now, I want to be driving realistic. We have a heck of a nice semi, and I hate to ruin it by driving all over the place and just smashing it into things. I want to actually, actually when, when I'm hauling stuff, drive realistic. So that's what my goal is. <clears throat> and it's nice when you have a... You have a beautiful semi. This is just, this is perfect. We got the lights on. I just want to show you guys the lights on this. And this is released on Expendables Modding, but I think you have to be a part of the group. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to share the link. I think it's all, mainly only for the members of Expendables Mind. So if you want, you can join their group on Facebook. Oh shoot, Gar. There we go. We're taking a right turn here. Now, I don't even know if I swung wide enough. Oh my God, oh shoot. <laughs> We were in over the stop sign again. So what Chevy does is for their first trucks that come out, like their, their secret, they basically have a secret spot in town and where they build their stuff. And it's it's called, like everybody thinks it's the biogas heating plant. And really what Chevy does to disguise that is it's a factory inside. Like it looks like it's a full on heating plant running, but really they're working on their trucks. That way, you know, nobody can sneak in. Nobody really knows about their first trucks that are coming out. Trucks and cars, I guess. Also, they're, they're moving more towards trucks. But they have the employee that basically runs it was like, hey, I got the first two trucks. If you want them, come pick them up. We got to be secret about this. And so I already picked up the first truck. We got the second truck. We got the sec second truck coming out. It's in, it's kind of in the back, the back of the, the factory. Here we are. So look at this. Look how good Chevy does at disguising this. Man, this looks like a... <laughs> what does it say? Bioenergy Gore Green. Yeah, right, Chevy. Yeah, right, man. But this is, no, this is the Chevy factory. Yep, just going to pick up. Just hauling gas, man. Hauling some biofuel. Yep, that's all we're doing. But really, this is a Chevy plant. So here's number two. He has it hiding for me somewhere around these, uh, let me, let me unload here. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to unload at. Obviously, this is for, like, grain or fuel or something like that. But I'm going to drop the trailer off right there, we'll pull out, and we'll load up number two. It's supposed to be a red vehicle, and he said he had it hiding way back here, just so like nobody driving by can even come in here and see it. It's, they have fairly good security. Here it is. 2019 Chevy 4500, number two. We're going to take this. I wonder, I think these are just pretty much props for them. I don't even think they actually use these. But there is where most of the production takes place, and then in that building, in that building, is where is where a lot of their productions taking place. So I'm gonna steal number two. She is loaded up. Like, look at that, dude. Look at that. Look how good that looks. I don't know what type of like paint these guys are putting on it, but man, the like the glow from the sun right now is just. This looks sweet. I I love the paint job these guys are doing with these mods. It's it, it, it's fantastic. Like, just look at the, the, I guess, the mirror off the sun and the shadows of this. And I don't even have shaders. Some people are getting shaders. You guys don't know what shaders are. They're basically like, I, I guess you could, I mean, it kind of describes itself. Shaders to make things look, it basically, it kind of ups the c contrast a little bit on uh, a lot of the vehicles and, and landforms. But basically, I guess what you can kind of describe it as is like a Instagram filter for your video game and video and video editing it's known as like a what i guess you could kind of describe that as a as like a filter for your video game it kind of yeah it makes it look a lot better and a lot more realistic okay we'll see you later chevy plant or should i say biogas heating plant there we go truck number two now i gotta customize these things i think i'm gonna make them look really similar i may change the paint job on these actually i like the red one but the the white and silver one, I think I'm going to change the paint job maybe to something that's blue. I want that looking nice. And we're going to, that is going to go like crazy. I'm also probably going to match it. Yeah, I will match a trailer with it. So I'm going to sell a big text with it. 
and then we'll you know we'll sell the 4500 and we'll sell it as a package so big techs and a brand new 2019 chevy 4500 that will go insanely quick i bet honestly i bet we sell those on the next rcc video this kenworth man i'm loving this and i i keep forgetting to use my controller because when i when i use my controller it drives a little a lot more realistic a little more realistic the turns turns kind of sensitive right now maybe what i'll do is i'll toss a sleeper on this truck and then i'll get another kenworth just like that and make it the uh the single axle i think that'd be pretty good that way we can use that truck to move campers around deliver campers to customers It'd be nice having like a mini semi basically here we go blinkers on swing wide oh shoot ah oh, darn it darn it that truck's coming off Okay, we have to pull off to the side and adjust this truck, even though we're so close to Ronco Customs right now. Wait, I might clip the side of the truck on the telephone pole. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're good. Okay, we gotta pull off to the side. We gotta adjust this truck. There we go. Hit the road again. Now, I'm thinking both of these trucks all adjust in the Expendables shop. Just because we haven't used the Expendables shop for a while, and I want to toss it on the lift in there, and we'll... We'll adjust those there. So, like, the alleyway to get back there is this long... I guess that door right there gets me back to the lift where I'll be able to customize these. I'll actually be able to make them look nice, attach them to a trailer, and then get them ready to sell. Man, like, even this Kenworth, the paint job on this Kenworth, it just looks fantastic. So, fire up the Chevy, and then I'll... I might just take it back to the shop right now. Why not? Now, I don't know if I'll put any tuner on it. I think we'll just keep the engine stock. But we'll, obviously, we got to put a flatbed or something on the back of this truck. Make it look a lot a lot better and a lot more usable. Oh, shoot. We actually have some vehicles in here. Oh, oh. Was this girl man's really? Yeah, I think this was a girl man's vehicle. Um, Let me get in here. There we go. It's got the RCC logo. Thanks to Artist Jack. Toss that on top of there. Perfect. Open the door. Um, Ah, this... Duramax, we gotta get out of here. Or here, I can just scooch it up. Oh, this was the Duramax that hauled the 9R. This is the beast of the Duramax we had. Right there. That way we can get a truck in and out, and then I'll... Ah, okay, I guess. I hate these lizard pickup trucks, man. They're just... Uh, <laughs> they're, there we go. Now, I, I, I guess it kind of looks like a Toyota, and I tend to diss Toyota trucks a lot, guys. I, I do. I tend to diss Toyota trucks just a ton. But I gotta give it to Toyota. They make they make a heck of a vehicle. Whether it's a car, you know, I, you see a lot of Toyota Toyota cars go a lot of miles, and they hold they seem to hold their value fairly well. Or whether it's the Tacoma or their Forerunner, they're pushing a lot of miles. And like I'm I'm seeing some videos of like Toyko, Toyoma, Toyomas, Toyo Tacomas, Tacomas like doing some crazy stuff. Like I gotta give it to Toyota. They're really they're competing, and maybe maybe some argue that they they they're a better truck than uh, you know some Ford and Chevys, but they're they're actually in the market. To me, I'm always going to buy like a Dodge, Ford, or Chevy, even if uh, Toyota makes a heck of a truck. It's just I don't know I like that more, but uh, some people might prefer the Toyota, and I, I guess I've been dissing Toyota a lot, and I I I shouldn't be dissing them a lot. They they've proven themselves. It seems like okay, the 4500 is on the lift. I'm gonna oh sh oh 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 shoot! I tried pushing the button for the lift and we grabbed the truck with the with the lift anything mod. Oh no, we're grabbing it again. No, oh shoot! Set it down, man. Well, there we go. She's coming up. We'll customize her now. Usually I don't bring you guys along with this customization, but I do want to as we work on this truck. So we go to customize. Oh oh oh! I wanted to see this truck. I think that's a glitch. What I'm going to do is save the game and then exit out. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. I've had that happen before. So I tried this truck over here and the same thing is happening. <laughs> it won't actually let me see the truck. So it's almost going to be a little guessing game here as we go. So you know what? Maybe we keep the color red and then we go uh, so customize. I kind of know what I want. Wheel setup. I want to go off road. I'll show you guys these off road wheels. I've seen them before. They look pretty sweet. Or actually, you know what? The best thing I could do is just go to here, the buying menu, and then go uh purchase there we go i know i have so many trucks right now but if we go oh oh even that's not loading okay okay i guess it just doesn't load so never mind 
Wait, oh, the truck was like there for a second. So, as far as color, we can leave that. <clears throat> Stock, I want to go off-road rim, or off-road wheels on this. So we'll look perfect. We'll go a flatbed. Now, as far as flatbed color, probably white. It's going to look like silvery, which that's what we want. We want like an aluminum flatbed on there. We don't want like a red flatbed. So I'm going to go customize. We'll see how this looks. I mean, it's going to be a beast of a truck. Okay, we'll see how. Let me let me bring it down. Oh, shoot. What you got to do is you got to get in it. Throw her up and then it'll fall. <laughs> Dude. This is going to be a, this is gonna be a crazy truck. I don't know. It's almost like the wheels are just monstrous on this truck. I mean, it'll be kind of cool. <laughs> Let's do it though. Let's do it. We'll do it with the other truck too. So we'll keep both of these trucks like this. Roll quick customs. I mean, it's got to be customized a little bit if it's RCC, you know? Got to have a little customization to her. Man, imagine a plow on this truck. Like a plow and uh, a salt spreader on this truck. Oh, you could do some work with this. Wow. This is insane. This is what I've been asking for too. Is a 4500 truck because now we have the F450. We have the Silverado 4500. Now, if we get a Dodge, uh, Dodge Cummins 4500, then I could do it uh, like a tow pig challenge with all three of these trucks. It would be pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? So here's stock tires, which they're good. But then you got these beefy tires. I think the B. <laughs> I don't know. I, I kind of like the beefy tires. I, I think we got to go with that again. So I'm gonna go pull the silver on the left. We could keep the silver color. It doesn't look. It doesn't look too bad. And I think. You know, if a business is buying it and they want like a sleek looking truck, they can they can keep the silver color on there. There she is, the silver one with the off-road tires and a flatbed on there. I feel like looks pretty good. I it'd be cool if we had like a Bradford flatbed or a different brand. I feel like that's a don't the or maybe maybe not. It, it's 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 fairly good. I shouldn't be complaining. So I'm gonna uh, lower this down. We'll pull this one out and we'll put it next to the red one. I guess tell me what color you guys think looks best overall. What's that? Is that a backup light on that? It is. Or it's it's some type of bed light. That's kind of nice probably having it there. There we go. Open the door. Now, right now, you can see frames per second if you guys are big into this. I guess sometimes it's only running like 20 frames per second. It feels almost kind of laggy. Like right now, my graphics card can't even handle some of this sometimes. Like it, it feels it feels a little choppy and laggy through here. Like 19, 18 frames per second. I of course I have my graphics on very high, but dang, this is this is taking a lot. So check her out. This is what the build's gonna be. I I don't know if I'm gonna put a track. I, I guess I could buy some trailers. I think next time we'll put some trailers on these trucks. So we'll go a red, and then we have a silver one, and then I gotta get a red big text trailer and probably like a aluminum silver big text trailer these will be like the ultimate hole in packages this will be perfect so guys this is going to be the end of rcc vid hopefully you guys did enjoy it also tell me your opinion on this kenworth and don't forget to check out chop shop modding youtube channel check him out see it check out the new builds he's got going over there because heck even i don't even know what he's building i know he's building a lambo with tracks but he's building some other stuff too so i'll see you guys later thanks for watching guys